February or March or April, we wouldn't have all this brown dead stuff. This was, well, some of this is brown from last year, like that. But this, this is that white, little white flower that's so common, the sand wart. That's what's left of it now. The red plant, the diamorpha, that grows in just the shallowest soil. Well, uh, <laughs> there's not much left of it either. I'm trying to find it. Here's some. <laughs> this would have been bright red back uh, on April Fool's Day, and then uh, white flowers on it, but it's dead. This is the diamorph for the bright red plant that's so uh, conspicuous during the uh, cooler months of the year. So it's dead. It's uh, uh, only the seeds are alive. The seeds and it's waiting for fall. Sometime around Halloween, temperatures will have gotten cooler. Will have gotten more rain, enough rain, enough rain that it can last and doesn't just dry up under the heat. So, long about uh, Halloween, it'll be tiny little seedlings, little, tiny little red specks all over here where it's getting started. And then by sometime in December, it'll be obviously red. And then in uh, April, it'll have little white flowers. In uh, May, it will uh, start dying. And by uh, June, it's dead. Just the seeds. And that's um, very successful for it. It manages to avoid this time of year by being dead. <laughs> And that's the case for the little white flowered plant, the sand wart. That's the case for the toad flax, which is all that's left of the toad flax. So. But here's where this looks wilted. It's not dead though. It's it's hoping that it will get rain soon because it needs to make it all through the summer to be yellow daisies in the fall. Those are yellow daisies. These are yellow daisies. Oh, see. But they may not make it. It has an amazing ability to wilt and come back. A lot of plants will wilt. All plants will wilt. <laughs> a lot of them won't come back. But this one will come back uh, as long as it gets rain sometime soon. It eventually will be killed if it gets none. Some years there are great masses of yellow daisies in the fall, years when there's lots of rain during the summer. And then some years they almost all die in their stuff miserable display of yellow daisies. We've had two or three year, good years in a row of yellow daisies, so lots of them are coming up, but whether they get to make it. And when will they be uh, prominently displayed? Well, they'll be flowering in September, if they make it. Those that have the most soil will have the most moisture and will have the best chance. So this, is, this one's got a better chance you can tell it's got it's not as wilted but those over there don't have as much water and they're going to have a hard time unless they get some help either from mother nature or a very kind a kind human visitor <laughs>